change. With their voice as our guide, we are ready to work as a unified government to help build an opportunity economy for all Americans. is going to be judged on his results. Uh, this is a person who helped him win an incredible victory, an incredible... The appropriations process in the lane uh, Those are decisions that are being made in the, with the transition team. None of those decisions have been made yet. We are now sitting down with, with the Trump administration in waiting, along with our colleagues, to come up with our game plan for lame duck and also to come up with our game plan for 2017. It's very exciting. We've got a lot of work to do, and we're having constant conversations about how to do that, but we haven't made any of those specific decisions yet. Any timetable on when you will make Money. Uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, the president-elect has signaled that he was going to use his... Doing our job right here in Congress. I would say, look at this. Donald Trump is a multi billionaire, successful businessman who has been so successful because he's surrounded himself with good people. He is a man who has made great successes, created tens of thousands of jobs because he gets good advice from good people who are around him in his life. What's wrong with that? That's a good thing. We're going to focus on doing our job here in Congress. He's going to focus on populating his administration, and we're going to do everything we can to help him be as successful as he's going to be, and which I think he's going to be a very successful president. We have an exciting agenda. We have a transition team that we're working with, and we're very excited about getting to work for the American people. Mr. Speaker, Juan. Mr. Speaker, uh, Steve Bannon has personally come after you. He, his publication has tried to unseat you in your primary. He's written about your children in past or his public. to the future, and I'm looking forward to how, make, how we make this work for the American people, how we help President-elect Trump be the most successful president in our lifetimes, how we make good on the promises and get this country going again. Look, you've heard me say this so many times. Seventy percent of the people in this nation think America is going down the wrong path. They now just said, get on a better way. platform that in many ways is not terribly conservative. Are you prepared to lead a charge on those? Ideas? Look, we're, we're excited about, we're on the same page with, with, with our president-elect. I talk with Donald Trump virtually every single day. I spoke with Mike Pence this morning. We are on the same page. We're working hand in glove, and we're going to make sure that this is a very successful administration. But more importantly, we're going to make sure that the voices we heard from this election for the American people are acted upon, that we actually fix these countries' problems. You take a look at, to, to get to your specific point, if you take a look at what Obamacare did to our entitlement programs, it made them worse. We're going to fix that. We're going to help fix these problems that are plaguing this country, whether it's skyrocketing health care costs, lack of jobs, regulatory red tape that's strangling jobs and businesses, fixing our national security, securing our border. These are all things that we are excited about, rolling up our sleeves and getting to work with our incoming president to make good on his promises. Last question. Trump ran on a platform to spend a trillion dollars on roads and bridges and infrastructure. Are House Republicans ready to support a trillion dollars in new spending? We're going to work on all of these things in the transition. It just says I asked the question about budget reconciliation, budget processes. These are things that we're working on with the transition. So it's going to take time to figure out exactly what bill comes where and how it all adds up. But that's what the congressional process is all about. The point is Donald Trump wants jobs. Donald, I've talked to Donald so many times just this week. 
which is let's make sure we get people back to work. Let's make sure we get this economy growing. Let's, let's take all this uncertainty out of the economy that's plaguing it and get people back to work. This is something we share. This is something we're excited about working on with, with Donald Trump. And that is why I'm very confident that we're going to have a unified government that works hand in glove with this administration to make good on the commitments and to get people back to work and fix this country's problems. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.